Thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. Our next guests are coming to us from Zoom. We have Sam Kokajo and Robin Buenovic. Hopefully I said that correctly, guys. Can you hear me? Are you, are my coming in clear? Yes. Yep, we've got Hi, you Robin. here. Hello, hello. You were close on the name, but can you pronounce it enough. properly for me? I'm sorry. Bonovich. Bonovich. Okay. <laughs> thank well, you. Well, thank you for being here, guys. Um, it seems like everyone's having a great time using Zoom events for the for this. this is our second year using Zoom events, and I'm so glad to have you here because you're going to give us a chance to. Uh, kind of learn a little bit more about what you guys have done with the platform, what you've changed over the past couple of years, and um, kick to help, help help us kind of see what you guys have done at your own event at Zoomtopia. Yeah, thanks so much. I'm going to just go ahead and uh, share my screen quickly, if that's okay. We have a short little presentation, and then we're going to jump into some Q and A. So. Um, Thanks for, first of all, thanks for having us. Um, we're, we're so glad to be here and um, excited to see your new studio. It looks amazing. Thank so um, this is, you know, I have to share this with everyone, just knowing that um, everything we present here, if it's future looking, um, we just have to say that, you know, it, you may see things differently as they, as they go to, um, as they go live in the product. So, um, as Paul mentioned, my name is Robin Bunovich. Um, I'm the product marketing lead at Zoom for Zoom events and Zoom webinars. So Zoom events, the platform we're using today, at, along with Zoom webinars. And, and I'm here with Sam Kaiko, who's one of our um, amazing event specialists who um, ran our big user conference last month, Zoomtopia. So he's going to talk about that. Um, but first of all, if you're not familiar with Zoom events, um, Hopefully you're, you're tuned in on the platform now, but some of you I think are, are watching from YouTube, but Zoom Events is our kind of all-in-one event management platform. And it takes the best of Zoom webinars and Zoom meetings, which I'm sure you're pretty familiar with at this point, and puts them into a, um, an event platform that allows event hosts to host virtual and hybrid events, which we'll talk about in a little bit, um, giving your attendees the chance to network, use a virtual expo hall, um, watch things from a streaming lobby. So there's a lot that, that happens on the platform, but it's really kind of um, everything you need to host virtual and hybrid events. Um, so just to kind of share some of the things that we've been working on over the past year and a half that we've launched the platform, we've come out with a backstage um, which we'll get to in more detail, um, an expo hall, which um, I'm not sure if you're using in today's event, but it's kind of that, that virtual expo floor. We can roam around and talk to folks. Networking, which I know we are using today. Um, branding capabilities, lots of integrations with our marketing automation tools. And then of course, event analytics, um, post event. So, um, you know, we see the platform being used in a, in a lot of different ways. Here are just some, you know, examples of what our customers are using it. But we've also had some really interesting examples. Like, for example, last week we had a major fashion brand use the platform for um, model casting. So people are using it in, in some really creative ways. Of course, these are some of the more typical ones. And, and like, you know, today a, a, a conference or a summit is pretty, pretty common as well. Um, so now I just kind of want to get into some of the cool features that we have either recently launched that we're going to be launching um, within the next few months, um, which hopefully will be interesting for you as a kind of streaming and video um, audience. But uh, the first one is, is some enhancements to our networking profiles. Um, if you did um, opt in for networking at the event today, you'll see you can create your own profile, you can add um, images. And then you can start to connect with other people and um, actually set up kind of one-on-one -on -one meetings if, um, if you mutually connect with someone, someone else at the, at the event. Um, and then we also have some you know, AI match, matchmaking through the networking. So you can kind of see, how, see who you're connected with, make new friends, chat with folks, find new people at events. You know, at Zoom, we really, we understand the power of, of events and, and of course in-person connection, um, but also understand that people are busy and want to be able to tune in wherever they are and join an event, but also make connections at that event. So, you know, we've built this 
this networking tool with that in mind that we really want to make sure that people are making important those important connections even at virtual events. Backstage, this is one of our most popular features. I'm sure folks like you guys um, would, would be using something like this quite a bit, but essentially it's that kind of green room behind your webinar. So when you're hosting a webinar and you wanna get your speakers together and you wanna be able to have a place where you can talk behind the scenes while the webinar is taking place, that's really what backstage is for. So you can join the backstage, you can have this kind of space where you're not live on stage and you can talk to the other the other speakers and then when it's your turn you just go into the webinar you do your turn and then you can come back and um, get feedback from your from your uh, fellow panelists so this is a super super popular feature um, we use it all the time at zoom it really helps us stay organized professional um, expo this is this is something that we've kind of built a lot on over the past year and a half um, we really want to make this a useful tool um, for you know sponsors, of course, because sponsors um, often fuel events. But also, you know, we we've seen it being used for things like if you're using it for onboarding at a company and you have kind of your HR benefits um, booth and your um, travel and expenses booth. So you can use it for different functionality. We use it also to do deep dives on different products at Zoom. So it's really a way to kind of uh, you know, shape, shape your event however you'd like and have people kind of choose their own destiny and, and bump into one another and chat along the way. Guest registration, this is something that, you know, we felt was really important. When we originally launched Zoom events, you had to have a, a Zoom account. It could be a free account, but you had to have a Zoom account. Now we are, um, we're allowing anybody to join a Zoom event without a Zoom, a Zoom account, without having to create an account. So you just put in your email, you're sent a, a verification code, and then you can join the event and there's no kind of barrier to creating that, that Zoom account. Branding. So this is something I think, um, Paul, you're using it at this event, which is great. Um, you can kind of set up your lobby with your own colors, your own, um, the buttons can be um, whatever color you want. You can design your emails with your branding. So it really kind of um, makes the tool much more customizable. And we're gonna be adding a lot more to this branding feature in the next few months. So um, this will become something that's really kind of makes each, each event much more unique. Um, Simulive, this is a huge one because we have so many customers around the world, global companies who want to broadcast a webinar and then do it again um, several hours later, perhaps for another um, time zone. And essentially what you can do is it's a like live. So you can replay that webinar that you previously recorded, but be there for Q&A, um, use polling, use, use chat. So it's so um, the attendees wouldn't necessarily know that you're running a Simu Live event. Um, they're seeing that content and you're able to react in real time through chat and Q&A without having to re represent your content that you already presented. Session, session resources. This is something that's not out yet. It's coming soon. Um, but it allows people, so if you're, you're hosting a webinar and you want to um, pop up a call to action or showcase some of your speaker profiles, you can essentially send these kind of notifications throughout the webinar um, and attendees will see, see this on the, on the right hand side of their, of their screen, different, um, different calls to action, different, you can use it for speaker bios or have, have folks, you know, share out documents this way. Um, just making those webinar sessions more engaging. And finally, I think this is what I'm most excited about. Um, I know Sam is really excited about this one as well, which is production studio. So some of the really cool graphics that you've seen today, um, now you'll be able, when, when this is live, it's not live yet, but when it is, you'll be able to do those on your own. So you can create and build these, these different scenes within the product and then, and then switch them out as you're, as you're going through your session. So it's like you have a you know, professional production team, um, but, but you're able to do it all, all by yourself, which is really exciting for a lot of our hosts that are you know, juggling a lot of things at once and um, may not have a budget to hire a full-on production team. And then finally, I just wanna share some examples of how you know, at Zoom we're using this product. We used it for um, a hybrid sales kickoff back in August called Growth Summit, where we had um, folks tuning in from different offices around the, around the globe, actually, and then, of course, virtually as well. Uh, we did an analyst event in August um, where it was half 
on site, half virtual, so um, a fully hybrid event. Folks were um, tuning in live, asking questions live. We had a band um, that was that was coming in from Texas. We had analysts around the globe tuning in, and then we had about 50 um, people in the event space in San Jose. So it was a fully, truly hybrid event. And then Zoomtopia, which I'm going to let Sam talk about. Um, his team did an incredible job. It was our um, it's our largest user conference that we have. It was the first time that we did it as a really truly full hybrid event with um, 1200 people in San Jose at the convention center and thousands more tuning in live um, on Zoom events. So I'm gonna pass it over to Sam who's gonna talk to you a little bit about how we kind of pulled off that massive event using the platform. Yeah, so like Robin said, uh, my name is Sam Kokaiko and I lead the production uh, arm of our event services team here at Zoom. So we do all of our major internal events as well as kind of first and foremost, we're actually a services team of professional services for customers and for customer events. Uh, and there's some of the, the biggest and coolest ones out in the world that we've been able to work on. It's been a really exciting time to be at Zoom uh, and doing this sort of work. Um, but throughout Zoom events, which you guys are in today, uh, you know, you definitely see uh, stuff like what Paul and team are doing uh, with, I'm going to, I don't know if he's actually mentioned it today, but I'm going to imagine that he's still using vMix to do the show today, uh, which gives you that great control over uh, all the different, the five camera setup they have there in the studio and being able to switch that. Uh, and it's really exciting stuff. And that's sort of the same sorts of stuff that my team tends to work on. And Zoomtopia is kind of the example of that. It's a tier one, large scale user conference. Um, if you didn't get to check it out, I would definitely suggest that you go over to Zoomtopia.com and check out some of the recordings, particularly that main stage was pretty dang cool if I do say so myself. Um, and what I kind of wanted to highlight to you guys today is some of the stuff that we did beyond the native features. Uh, so, you know, this is kind of the, the split that Robin and I usually take when we come to present at events like this is, is Robin's telling you all about these sort of native features and tools that are available uh, within the product that you can just plug and play nice and easy to use. And I'm here talking to the slightly more advanced audience here who wants to dig in a little bit deeper and do some crazier stuff. Uh, and that's where we got to do some fun stuff like you can see here on these pictures. That's our, our main stage there with the big LED video wall that had uh, video participants from our live call uh, coming in. We had up to 45 or so of them on screen at any one given point in time. They're all kind of moving around and floating back. Uh, there you see live chat, you see live reactions, and those are all things that are being pulled out of Zoom and uh, automatically generating those graphics and building them on. Uh, I am going to drop, uh, or rather, uh, how about this? I'm going to send these links over to uh, Tessa and just and let uh, Tess and let her decide if she wants to share them out with the group at large. If not, you can PM me if you're interested in these. But we did some webinars recently. If this is something you're interested in, that. Uh, took basically what we have right here in like five, 10 minutes of content and expanded it out into three hours of getting the most out of Zoom events, out of the native product features, out of engagement, uh, engaging with your audience in that interactivity, and then taking it all the way up into production for hybrid events for uh, kind of taking this up to the next level. Because really, that's kind of one of the, the talk track that I've been giving a lot recently is really kind of pushing people on the evangelism side of why are synchronous events important and why is interactivity important for synchronous events for my audience showing up at the same time as me presenting this event why are we all here together in this conference to, with with paul and team here and the answer is because it's a community and it's because we're he's given you ways uh to engage that that networking meeting room he's got going on that's actually about to open in 18 minutes here um the expo hall the different networking options they've en enabled within zoom events uh, and, you know, if you've even heard him mention it a couple of times, like, yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, that's great. You know, you can comment there. But if you really want to participate with us, come in, come to the event. Let's chat. Let's talk. Let's hang out. Let's have a community together. And that's something that's really exciting to get out of events these days. And I'm really excited to be able to, to have those tools and technologies available to us to do it. Um, another, uh, one quick mention I was going to drop was, uh, we do have a new, uh, a new zoom streaming app that's going to be coming out. It's expected, uh, early this year, potentially. Um, and that all goes with that safe Harbor slide back at the beginning that Robin shared with you. But, um, that one is going to be really exciting to you guys because it lets you stream to multiple platforms simultaneously. It also lets you have a lot more, uh, linking between those different streams, a lot more flexibility and power. Uh, it's a really great app. I've been able to see some of the the, uh, the demos as they've been working on it, and it's going to be really exciting for this industry. So you can potentially simplify your workflows quite a bit while also improving your quality. 
Um, with that, um, let's see, I got that dropped over there. Robin, is there anything else you wanted to kind of go over today? If not, uh, I'm always a bit of a Q&A type guy, uh, and I don't have all that much presentation Why? I definitely am going to, uh, after we're done with our little segment here, hop over into that networking uh, meeting room. So I definitely would love to chat with you guys about anything you want to chat about, events, Zoom, streaming, production, you know, I enjoy yeah. it all. Um, well, Sam, while we have you here, there's there's two questions that came in on the Q&A panel, so mm -hmm. we might as well answer them. And if you're listening now, feel free to drop your questions there or you know um, meet meet us over in the in the networking area as well but um question from zane have you had any experience with video production for your live streams where you've used green screen to add a light show to your streams if so how is that experience and i think that one came in right before we took the stage actually so that one i believe is for for mike uh i'm not sure if paul and mike are at a place to be able to answer right now but um i think that one was for him uh, if not, I'll answer in the meantime and just say, that, yeah, we've done a lot of cool stuff with green screening. Um, and I know Paul has too, uh, where you can add a lot of different things behind you. Um, I haven't actually done, I don't think the idea of like having a small little stage with a big stage light show, that would be a pretty neat, uh, creative use. Yeah. Um, actually, uh, Robin, if you want to hit this one from, from Kenny, uh, about guest join. Um, so, uh, if users don't have a zoom account, is there, is it possible to have a generic link to the event that everyone can join, but they're not logged into zoom. So can you, uh, kind of elaborate on how that guest join works? Yeah, um, absolutely. And that's essentially how it works. So you can create a public event. You can send out the link to that event. Folks can then click on the link. And then they, when um, there'll be two buttons, it'll say uh, register as a guest. They can click on that register as a guest. They'll be sent a, um, a passcode and they can use that passcode to enter the event. So we do that for security reasons, um, but they don't need to be logged into Zoom or have a Zoom account. So it really makes the platform uh, much more widely available to, to more attendees. So, so yes, Kenny, um, you can absolutely do that. Um, it looks like we have answered all of the questions here. So um, like Sam said, please join us um, over in the networking space and we're happy to chat with you there. Um, again, my name is Robin Bunovich, Sam Kukaiko. We're, we're at Zoom. Feel free to you know, find us on LinkedIn, ask us any other questions that you might have. Um, and thanks for having us today, Paul. Appreciate it.